Jesus and his mother a sign. Just like the government in the days of Herod were expecting a Messiah, the government in the days of Hoover, J. Edgar Hoover, were expecting a Messiah to come out from among who? From among you. They weren't watching your womb, every little black baby that come out, is this him? Is this him? No. They were watching the womb of what you produce as leaders. And they would go and examine every leader, wondering is this the one that was to come? Because surely as you are in bondage, God was to come. Because surely as you are in bondage, God will send you someone to deliver you from the hand of this brutal beast. You've been on the lookout for that one from the time your fathers came into bondage. You knew that God would send you somebody. Nat Turner looked like him and they killed Turner. Then Mark Vesey looked like him, and they killed Vesey. Frederick Douglass looked like him, and he wasn't successful. Is that right? David Walker looked like him. Harriet Tubman looked like him, her. Her him. Harriet Tubman was a strong black woman, but she wasn't Moses. Moses ain't gonna lead you from the south into the north. Moses is going to lead you out of the clutches of this beast that have had you in his hand for 400 years. You thought Martin Luther King was the one and they murdered him. You thought Malcolm was the one and they murdered Malcolm. Everyone that looked like the Messiah, the white man, got rid of him. Because he looking for the Messiah to come from you. And indeed the Messiah has come from you. Oh yeah. Jesus and his mother, a sign. A sign of who? A sign of you. Oh, brother and sister. So beautiful. It's so beautiful to see that while you were clamoring over Jesus of 2,000 years ago, you couldn't see. You were crying over your own condition in America. You are the people of Jesus. The same white man that murdered Jesus and you sing the song, were you there when they crucified my Lord? Yes, you are here right now. And they crucify every teacher and guide that has ever come up among us. They have crucified that teacher, crucified that guide, and you've been there. And you have seen your own sons and daughters crucified before your eyes and you crying over them and go to church on Sunday thinking you crying over Jesus and you're crying over your own crucified state right here in Calvary called North America on a hill far away stood what? an old rugged cross an emblem of what? suffering and of shame Where's the hill far away? There it is, North America. USA. And on this hill, far away from where you used to live, there's a rugged cross, an emblem of suffering and shame. And ever since you've been here in America, black man, you've been suffering and have been ashamed of the blackness of your skin, ashamed of the kinkiness of your hair, ashamed of your place of origin, Africa, ashamed of your roots. And on that hill far away is where they took to Jesus. And what did they do? They nailed his hand, put a crown of thorns around his head, and they nailed his feet. You're not talking about an individual man. When you see this poor man carrying a cross, going up the road, you think about some man carrying some piece of wood. You say, ain't it terrible what they did to my Lord Jesus? Shut up! Ain't it terrible what they're doing?
doing to you the Jesus that the whole world is waiting on. You hear dead in a grave and your time have arrived to get up out of your grave and ascend to your father and take your place at his right hand. But you first got to be raised from the dead.